Hey everyone, welcome back to Nordell Media Channel. Today we're gonna crack open a can of whoop you know what and dive headfirst into a real problem plaguing our society, consumerism. Now this ain't your grandpappy's watch your spending lecture. We're talking about a full-blown epidemic, folks. We're bombarded with messages to buy, buy, buy until our wallets are flatter than a pancake and our houses resemble overflowing toy stores. But hey, at least we have that limited edition spatula we absolutely needed, right? Let's get real. Consumerism messes with us in sneaky ways. Here's the harsh truth. Reality number one, we're buying happiness and failing. We've all been there, scrolling through social media and feeling a pang of envy for someone's fancy new gadget or dream vacation. We convince ourselves that this next purchase is the key to happiness, the missing puzzle piece to our perfect life. But the truth is, that happiness is fleeting. Sure, a new phone might bring a burst of excitement when you unbox it, but that feeling fades fast. Real, lasting happiness comes from the experiences we share with loved ones, the connections we build, and the sense of purpose we find in life. It's the laughter echoing through the room during a game night, the warmth of a helping hand offered to a friend, or the satisfaction of learning a new skill. These are the moments we truly treasure, the ones we remember long after the thrill of a new purchase wears off. So, let's shift our focus from buying things to creating memories and building a life filled with genuine happiness. Reality number two, we're drowning in stuff. Ever feel like your clothes are multiplying like gremlins after a midnight snack? You're not alone. Consumerism has us swimming in a sea of stuff, most of which ends up exiled to the Bermuda Triangle of your closet. Remember that impulse buy shirt with the hilarious meme? The one you wore ironically once and now chills with last season's scarves in the dusty purgatory behind your winter coat? Yeah, that one. We all have these forgotten treasures gathering dust and whispering guilt trips every time we open the door. This clutter isn't just an organizational nightmare, it's a constant reminder of the money wasted and the environmental impact of our shopping habits. It's a nagging voice that tells us we need bigger houses, more shelves, and a serious intervention on our retail therapy addiction. But there's a way out of the storage unit spiral. By becoming mindful consumers, we can break free from the clutter and find joy in experiences and quality items that truly spark happiness, not just fill empty space. Reality number three, we're slaves to debt. Ever feel like your credit card is the warden and your paycheck the prison bars? Welcome to the consumerist and debt trap. Swiping that plastic might seem like a harmless way to get that instant gratification, but it can snowball into a mountain of debt faster than you can say retail therapy. Suddenly, you're working overtime, hustling extra hours just to keep up with the minimum payments. Those things you bought to make you happy? Now they're a constant source of stress, a heavy weight on your shoulders. This cycle keeps you chained to a system that thrives on your spending, not your freedom. Imagine the possibilities of you weren't a slave to debt. Think of the financial breathing room, the time you could reclaim for yourself and your loved ones. Breaking free from consumerism is the first step to unlocking real financial freedom. Reality number four, we're damaging the planet. All that consumption has a nasty side effect, environmental destruction. Consumerism fuels a massive extraction of resources. We mine mountains of metals, chop down forests for paper and packaging, and pump out endless amounts of oil for plastic. This isn't sustainable. These resources are finite, and our ever-growing appetite is depleting them at an alarming rate. But it's not just about running out. 
The production of all this stuff pollutes our air and water, creates mountains of waste that choke our landfills and oceans, and disrupts delicate ecosystems. So the next time you're tempted by the latest must-have item, remember, that purchase might bring a fleeting moment of satisfaction, but it comes with a hefty environmental price tag. Reality number five, we're comparing ourselves to a highlight reel. Scrolling through social media feels like flipping through a magazine filled with airbrushed perfection. Everyone's posting envy-inducing snaps of their dream vacations, flawless outfits, and perfectly decorated homes. It's easy to fall into the trap of comparing our everyday lives to this seemingly flawless highlight reel. We start questioning our own choices, feeling like our own vacations weren't exotic enough, our clothes aren't trendy enough, and our homes aren't Instagram worthy. But here's the thing, social media is a carefully crafted illusion. People only share the best moments, the most brag-worthy experiences. They don't post the burnt dinners, the laundry piles, or the fights they have with their significant other. Remember, behind every perfectly posed picture is a real person with a real life just like you. So next time you find yourself feeling inadequate after a social media scroll session, take a deep breath and remember, it's all just a highlight reel. Reality number 6, we're losing sight of what truly matters. Ever have that sinking feeling after a shopping spree that you just missed something? That's consumerism stealing the good stuff from us. We got caught up in the endless cycle of buying things that we think will bring happiness, but those things can never replace the real treasures in life. Imagine ditching that extra weekend shift you picked up to afford the latest gadget. Instead, you could be having a movie marathon with your best friend finally starting that painting class you've always dreamed of, or volunteering at an animal shelter. These experiences create memories, connections, and a sense of purpose that a new pair of shoes just can't touch. Consumerism turns life into a never-ending shopping list, but true fulfillment comes from the moments and connections we create, not the clutter we accumulate. Let's shift our focus from stuff to the experiences and passions that make life truly rich. Reality number seven, we have the power to break free. But wait, there's a light at the end of the shopping cart tunnel. We're not doomed to be forever chasing the next purchase. The power to break free lies within us. Imagine being a mindful consumer, someone who makes conscious choices about what they buy. This means prioritizing experiences that create lasting memories over fleeting thrills from a new gadget. It means focusing on quality over quantity, investing in pieces that will last and truly serve you instead of amassing a collection of fast fashion cast-offs. Remember all that stuff overflowing your closets? Let's find joy in what we already have. Rediscover the forgotten clothes hiding in the back. Breathe new life into old furniture, and appreciate the things that serve a purpose and bring you a sense of comfort. Most importantly, we can learn to resist the urge for instant gratification. That flashy new phone might be tempting, but is it really worth the financial strain and environmental impact? Take a deep breath. Ask yourself if you truly need it, and maybe channel that urge into a fun experience with friends or a creative project. Breaking free from consumerism is about reclaiming your power, your finances, and ultimately your happiness. It's about living a life filled with experiences, connections, and a sense of purpose, things money simply can't buy. What do you think about this topic? Don't forget to hit that like button and let me know in the comments below if you're ready to ditch consumerism and live a more fulfilling life. Until next time, see you!